Coming up on the DMZ Upside, Del Mar College faculty and staff are committed to ensuring equal access to college services, programs, and activities for qualified students with disabilities. We'll explain. This semester, Del Mar College added an African American history course. We'll tell you all about it. Del Mar College is starting a new semester. We'll explain the admissions process. Del Mar offers an associate's degree or certificate in child development, early childhood. Del Mar TV premiered The Real Deal, a show devoted to filmmaking. We also have our regular segments, Boardwatch and Around Campus. Happy New Year! Welcome to the January 2018 edition of the DMC Upside. I'm Carlos Garanzuay. And I'm Emily Gonzalez. We're bringing you the latest news and information about Del Mar College. The Del Mar College Disability Services Office, along with faculty and staff, are committed to ensuring equal access to college services, programs, and activities for qualified students with disabilities. They strive to eliminate physical, instructional, and attitudinal barriers across the Del Mar College community. The mission of the Del Mar College Disability Services Office is to eliminate physical, instructional, and attitudinal barriers across the Del Mar College community by providing support services, including reasonable accommodations to promote maximum academic potential, participation in the college experience, and self-sufficiency for students with disabilities. The Disability Services Office provides accommodations to those students qualified to receive them and by doing so the student will uh, come in for an intake, the student will also bring in their medical documentation, uh, must be registered with their class schedule ready to go because we'll look at that and then we'll go and see what best suits the student as far as an accommodation. They've been really helpful. I remember when I first came in um, and spoke with Brenda, she was very pleasant. She was understanding of my situation and the accommodations that I needed for the particular disability that I currently have. I see students who need any type of support accommodations for classes. They come in, they provide assessments by a qualified professional. Um, we sit down, we do an intake process, and we talk about how and what we can do to help accommodate them in the classroom. In accordance with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990, the ADA Amendments Act of 2008, Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, and applicable Texas state laws, Del Mar College is committed to ensuring equal access to college services, programs, and activities for qualified students with disabilities. The student has to come in and present themselves requesting accommodations, which is different from what they typically do in high school where they're identified. So they would come in and request services. Uh, they fill out an intake packet, and we also ask that they provide any type of uh, qualified uh, documents from a qualified professional um, so that we have a chance to review the documents, we have a chance to review their intake, and we sit down and we have a one-on-one -on -one with them and talk them about some of their challenges that they may face in the classroom or just on campus in general. The main thing is that we're here to help, uh, that we're different from your, your setting in, in uh, public education. We're not going to go and take you out of class and uh, kind of single you out. It's about you coming in and initiating that, that request for help. For more information on the Del Mar College Disability Services Office, call 361-698-1092. We're taking a break. Please stay with us. Vikings are tough. They don't back down from a challenge. That's why at Del Mar College, they've been our symbol of discovery and perseverance since 1935. Today, that Viking spirit thrives more than ever as we develop the next generation of innovators, problem solvers, entrepreneurs, and leaders. Because to go from just getting by to finally getting ahead, it takes a Viking. Del Mar College, dreams delivered. Stars, pull one down for you. 
from the Foundation for a Better Life. Your dream of higher pay is within reach. With some HVAC technicians earning up to $28 an hour, employers are hiring. And a certification from Del Mar College is exactly what they're looking for. Go from I dream to I am. Get started today at delmar.edu. Del Mar College. Dreams delivered. Welcome back. This spring, Del Mar College will offer an African American history course for the first time. This class satisfies the three hour cultural and behavioral science component of the core curriculum. This coming spring semester, the Social Sciences Department will be offering an African American History course for the first time at Del Mar College. It promises to be an exercise in discovery that's unlike most other history courses. It's going to be exploring the African American experience in the United States, uh, pretty much giving a full view of, of the role of blacks in the country's history uh, from the arrival at Jamestown in 1619 uh, to where they are today. A theme that will run through both halves of the course will focus on the development and growth of African American culture and we'll probably try to pull in when we can um, literature and film and um, visual art as well to sort of illustrate the evolution of that culture. Topics covered in the course include origins of Africans in America in the 1500s through the 1600s, development of an African American culture, Realities of the Slave Experience, Meanings of Emancipation, Long Struggle for Equality, Justice, and Full Citizenship, and Expressions of African American Culture. It is a course that's part of the core curriculum, and you know that one of the areas of the core curriculum is called Social and Behavioral Sciences, and every student, most students have to take, at least, have to take one course in Social and Behavioral Sciences, so the course fits there. It carries Social and Behavioral Sciences credit so it has, it, it's, it's part of the core and a student, student who takes the course would get core curriculum credit for it in that social and behavioral sciences area. This in-depth study should increase students' appreciation for all people. African American history is America's history and that it's all woven in together. And really the way I even present my classes now just with the uh, survey classes is to try to show that everyone plays a role in bringing about America and its greatness where you're looking at the roles of Native Americans, women, African Americans, Asian Americans, and so things of that nature. For more information on this African American history course, call 361-698-1635. If you're interested in attending Del Mar College and earning a certificate or associate's degree, and you're not sure what to do, admission is the first step toward delivering those dreams. Del Mar College has been helping Coastal Bend students achieve their dreams since 1935. Del Mar has an open door admission policy. We actually have the students apply through Apply Texas uh, and they'll go and set up an account and then you do the application online and then we process your application within two to three days uh, and then we'll ask you for different things. You'll need your uh, high school transcripts or college transcripts if you're a transfer student, you'll need your bacterial meningitis and of course then if you have less than 24 hours you'll need to see an advisor. If here at the Student Enrollment Center we'll see liberal arts advising but we'll do general advising for the, the campus but we do encourage all our students to go see their department of major to get their advising but a lot of the t uh, a lot of times the departments will have their own faculty advisors available for students throughout the year. Advising is a critical um, part of the process uh, of full enrollment, I guess you could say. 
and students really need to meet with an advisor either in the student enrollment office or a faculty member in the program that they choose to major in. At Del Mar College, we have a rule in place where students have to successfully complete 24 credit hours of coursework before they are able um, to register themselves. And that's to eliminate some students registering for classes that maybe they don't need. So meeting with the, the advisor is very, very important. We're able to identify exactly what the student is hoping to accomplish, what do they want to do um, for a career. That helps us determine what certificate or degree plan they should be on, and then we can give them some recommendations for classes to take based on that. For more information on admissions at Del Mar College, call 361-698-1290. The Del Mar College Child Development Early Childhood Program offers an associate's degree or certificate in this high demand field. Graduates of this program develop performance skills that meet specific needs of children. The Del Mar College Child Development Early Childhood Program has excelled for almost 40 years, offering diverse options that prepare students for this high demand field. Me being a male um, student, in a early childhood class and also a male teacher. Um, it's a great atmosphere. The professors and the teachers, they're awesome. They um, teach you from the beginning to the end and make sure that you're gonna learn. Del Mar College's program provides an on-site child care center, the Morris L. Lichtenstein Jr. Center for Early Learning, that serves as a teaching model for child development early childhood majors. The Child Development Early Childhood Curriculum is designed to prepare an individual to educate and care for young children from birth through age 12. The Child Development Early Childhood Program is something that individuals who are wanting to go into early childhood education, curriculum development, working as a parent educator, or just want to strengthen their parenting skills. We offer a variety of different classes and with those different avenues. Employment opportunities for professionals in the child development early childhood field have grown by 12% in the Coastal Bend and by 24% statewide. Positions ranging from child care director, teacher or assistant to family advocate, camp counselor, latch key worker, and many other professional positions, graduates work in rewarding settings and impact the lives of the Coastal Bend's youngest residents. I very much enjoyed sitting in on the classes and uh, listening. Uh, to lecture and then to have hands-on activities just like we would do um, when we get into the classroom. We would actually do hands-on activities within the class, um, help each other create activities and learn how to lesson plan um, and then take those activities into classrooms uh, not just here at the Early Learning Center but at other uh, child care centers and uh, preschool, preschool academies throughout, throughout the city. For information on the Child Development Early Childhood Program at Del Mar College, call 361-698-2809. It's time for a break, but don't go away. There's more coming up on the DMC Upside. What does it take to go from entry level to management material or from the day-to-day -to, -day to paving your own way. What does it take to go from how will I ever get there to look how far I've come? It takes a Viking. Advance your career and continue your education at Del Mar College. Dreams delivered. Catch the Viking spirit. Nationally recognized and locally focused, Del Mar College has been delivering dreams for over 75 years. If Del Mar College has touched your life, join the Vikings Alumni Association and help others achieve their dreams. Stay connected. Support scholarships. Explore the Viking Career Network. Join online today at delmar.edu slash alumni for as little as $10 and get a free t-shirt. Show your Viking pride. I'm 
What does it take to join a leading workforce training center, helping new industry meet new demand, where higher education is affordable, no matter the situation? What does it take to go from, how can I afford this, to how can I afford not to? It takes a Viking. Del Mar College, dreams delivered. Thanks for staying with us. Del Mar College Television recently premiered a new show devoted to filmmaking. The Real Deal explores individuals involved with independent film production. 2018 brings a new season of Del Mar College Television, and with that, new shows. One of those programs is The Real Deal, hosted by Will Diaz. I'm excited about being a host, period. I mean, it's a big responsibility to um, do the guests that I have justice and to really um, uh, focus in on, on their art and, and make sure that the audience, the masses, uh, understand how hard it is, the, the, the things they have to do to create uh, film, and maybe even take something away from from the guests, maybe, uh, maybe even create a spark of motivation. The Real Deal is the first of two new programs Delmar College Television is producing this spring. The Real Deal will introduce audiences to independent filmmakers producing films outside the Hollywood system. I think uh, that you know most filmmakers, especially on this kind of micro-budget level, they don't get kind of the uh, exposure that the big guys get and stuff. But now that you know there is an outlet for many filmmakers to kind of be able to talk a little bit about their craft and about what motivates them and also kind of gets them to do things, it's a good way to show that. So even if you don't do it yourself, you got to kind of be the, the extra hand that knows what to do. You can't be just the guy frustrated and not knowing what, what is part of it. You got to learn everything. You got to learn the marketing process of it. You got to have maybe done a little bit of acting, a little bit of producing, a little bit of photography, everything. I think there's nothing that is taboo for a filmmaker that's starting out. You got to kind of do all the bases, cover all your bases. The Real Deal is currently producing episodes with filmmakers from the South Texas area, but has big plans for future episodes. I hope to see uh, a wider swath of, uh, of guests, not just from uh, our city, but from other parts in the state. I'd like to maybe even do some industry style uh, uh, interviews where we're talking about equipment, uh, what, what's the best equipment to use, what's the latest on the market. So, you know, and tie that in all together with, with uh, promoting independent film and, and uh, navigate it in a way that, that is useful for all of us. But it's a slow process and I'm learning, so we'll, we'll see what happens in the end. You can find the latest episode of The Real Deal online at youtube.com slash delmarcollege. With a new year and a new semester upon us, we went around campus asking students what they are looking forward to in this coming school year. Well, since I'm going to ministry, it's just a uh, Hopefully start up maybe uh, street preaching here and keep doing the table like I have been for my, just to be going to the ministry and become a minister is all. And learn more Bible and that's kind of it. To the students coming in, it's going to be fun. A lot of club activities going on in the Harbin Center and a lot of events going on. It's going to be really fun. 
This coming semester um, as a mentor, helping all the students get enrolled and get them started and see their success here as a student, um, completing my prerequisites to get into the nursing program. I'm just looking forward to my classes, my accounting class. I hope I pass that. I heard it's really hard. What I want from college, I guess a better education like some of the teachers only just use like their notes and go off PowerPoints. I'd rather them have like hands-on work. To just travel more and see more sites here in America, just get around. Just to be um, a bit more independent, like not rely on my parents as much and just um, persevere through the semester, try to make the best grades as possible and while doing this, you know, um, kind of maintain maintain my body so like be able to go to the gym and go to work and go to school all at the same time. This coming new year I would like to finish off the semester with A's, good grade, <laughs> get my GPA up so that's good. That's about it and maybe start getting to internships to try to like get myself ready to get a job after I graduate so yeah. Just hopefully my classes go as easy as possible because it's been stressful just this semester, so hopefully next semester goes a little bit more smoother than this one did. The Del Mar College Board of Regents held their regular December meeting at the Center for Economic Development. These nine elected officials developed the policies for the college. The regular meeting of the Board of Regents of the Del Mar College District convened on December 12, 2017. During staff reports, administrators presented a student enrollment and achievement update. We are so pleased to be able to tell you a little bit about what we're gathering information-wise with our Tableau dashboard. I know that this is something that the board has been very interested in, seeing a lot of data put together very quickly. Um, so I want to introduce um, Sushil. Where are you up here? This is Sushil Palamoni, our Director of Institutional Research, and he's going to be driving the Tableau dashboard. Uh, Dr. Silva and I will be talking about some of the more important parts that we've pulled out for you. Uh, Tableau, <laughs> as you might know, is widely used in the industry. Uh, it's one of the leading visual analytics tool, and over the past one or two years, uh, higher education institutions have started using it. Uh, in Texas, uh, College Station, UT Austin, and there are some other universities uh, use it. And we've been among the first in community colleges to start using Tableau. Uh, thanks to Lenora and August for always uh, supporting our technology needs. Another tool that we'll be coming back and talking to you about, you already heard, is Civitas. Okay. And Civitas, it's different. With, this, the difference between Civitas and what you're seeing now is that Civitas is very, it's active. It is by the semester and it can give us predictive analytics. And um, we have introduced Civitas in our graduation components. So we've seen some good gains right now. I know right now Dean Sanders in our area and the retention folks are looking at Civitas, helping them in some other programs. And of course, part-time is ones we're looking at as well. Part-time is difficult because we understand our students, they have other obligations uh, that makes it difficult for them to, to come to school. But those that we can try to help, we want to try to reach out to them. A review of the college's health plan under ERS was also presented. There's been a, um, oh, some effects from our change in um, medical health providers and, and, the, and the way of insurance that uh, we've not anticipated. Uh, we've gone through changes before at the college from originally when I got here we were a Blue, Sh Blue Cross Blue Shield, we went to United and then we made the switch this past fall. Del Mar College participates in group benefits through the Employer Retirement System of Texas or w what we call ERS. Other participants in these group benefits could be other Texas community colleges, state public universities or colleges, and state agencies. ERS puts the health insurance plan out for bid or out for request for proposals and they select a company from that process. Del Mar College does not play a role in the selection of who ERS contracts with for insurance coverage. Some of the primary care physicians or, and specialists that were on the previous <coughs> network provider list will not be on the new network provider list. The entire Del Mar College Board of Regents meeting can be seen on Digital Cable in Corpus Christi every Friday at 2 p.m and Saturday at 7 p.m. You can also view it online at bit.ly slash DMC Regions. That concludes this edition of the DMC Upside. As always, you can watch us on digital cable in Corpus Christi every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. You can also watch us online at youtube.com slash Delmar College. We'll be back in February with a new show. We hope you'll tune in. I'm Carlos Garanzuay. And I'm Emily Gonzalez. Thanks for watching.